Foundation Speaking Test, Photo Card A, Theme 2, Topic 3, Global Issues. As always, the first question, ¿Qué hay en la foto? And one example of what you can answer. En la foto hay una familia. En la foto there, are, there is a family. Hace buen tiempo. The weather is buen. Good. Always give reasons. Porque las personas llevan ropa de verano. Because the persons, the people, llevan, remember, llevar, to wear, ropa, clothes, de verano, su from summer, remember Spanish word order, summer clothes, ropa de verano. En la foto, se puede ver. Now, se puede is a very, very useful expression. One can, and it will boost your grades. It needs to be followed by a verb in infinitive. Ending in ER, IR, or ER. Se puede ver. One can see. A los padres. Remember, padre, father. Padres, parents, or fathers. Y a un hijo y una hija. Son and a daughter. En la foto se puede ver. See how I repeat the same expression. Se puede ver. One can see. Al padre, the father, there is no S this time, so it's father. Con un contenedor azul, contenedor, container, azul, blue. En primer plano, another very useful expression when describing a photo. On the forefront, hay, there is or there are, botellas, bottles. Y latas and things para reciclar for recycling. Remember in Spanish to for to recycle. That's the way we say it. Para reciclar. Están en la cocina. They are in the kitchen. Toda la familia está feliz. All the family is happy. And how will it sound? En la foto hay una familia. Hace buen tiempo porque las personas llevan ropa de verano. En la foto se puede ver a los padres y a un hijo y a una hija. En la foto se puede ver al padre con un contenedor azul. En primer plano hay botellas y latas para reciclar. Están en la cocina. Toda la familia está feliz. Now the second question that you will have time to prepare. ¿Qué reciclaste en la semana pasada? And two bits give you a clue of what is the tense you need to answer. The first one is hazte. Remember, hazte o iste, A-S-T-E, or I-S-T-E, that means you did in the past. But if you're not very sure, look at the second bit. La semana pasada. Semana, week, pasada, past. Last week. Remember, if the question is in the past, that's the tense you need to use. Look at the answer. La semana pasada reciclé. Remember. Papel, vidrio y cartón. So, what did you recycle in the house last week? Last week I recycled paper, glass and carton. Now, it's always boost your grades to add another person or another tense. For example, here, mi hermano, my brother, nunca, never.
recicla nada. Recycles anything. Nada, anything, nothing. And always give opinions, always give reasons. ¿Por qué? Because. Es muy perezoso. He is very lazy. Eso me molesta. That bothers me. Remember, me molesta to bother or to annoy. Another way of giving an opinion. And this should sound like this. La semana pasada reciclé papel, vidrio y cartón. Mi hermano nunca recicla nada porque es muy perezoso. Eso me molesta. The third question that you will have in your paper when you prepare for it is this one. Te gusta reciclar. ¿Por qué? ¿O ¿Por qué no? Te gusta. Is asking you for an opinion. Do you like recycling? ¿Por qué? Remember, always reasons to boost your grades. And the answer. Me gusta reciclar. I like recycling. Remember, me gusta. And then the verb that goes after me gusta it has to end. In infinitive, AR, ER, or IR. And you have to give an opinion. ¿Por qué? Because. Creo que. I think. I believe. El medio ambiente. The environment. Es muy importante. It's very important. Un ejemplo. An example. Es la deforestación. It's deforestation. Deforestación. En mi opinión, in my opinion, es un problema, it's a problem, que afecta, that affects, a todos, everyone. Todo, everything, todos, everybody. How will it sound? Me gusta reciclar porque creo que en medio ambiente es muy importante. Un ejemplo es la deforestación. En mi opinión, es un problema que afecta a todos. Now, the next two questions, you will not have seen them. They are the unexpected questions. Remember that the, your teacher can repeat or rephrase only if you ask in Spanish. So do not forget to say, repite, por favor. So the first question, ¿Quién en tu familia recicla más? Remember the question words, ¿Quién, who? En tu familia, in your family, recicla más, recycles more. The answer, en mi familia, in my family. Mi padre, remember, father, es la persona, es the person, the pa que recicla más, he recycles more. En mi opinión, always try to give an opinion, en mi opinión, In my opinion, está, he is, obsesionado, obsess. And how will it sound? En mi familia, mi padre es la persona que recicla más. En mi opinión, está obsesionado. Remember, for the unexpected questions, you are not expected to say a lot Just make sure you reply. And the second unexpected question. ¿De qué color? ¿De qué? Remember, ¿qué? What? You might not re say, realize ¿de qué? is what color. But ¿qué? What? You know it. ¿Qué color son los contenedores? What color are the containers? 
para el reciclaje, for recycling, en tu casa, in your house. Now, remember, what color, even if you don't understand the rest of the question, just mention two colors. No one is going to check what color are your containers at home. Just, if they ask colors, say, mention a couple. Like, son azul, amarillo y verde. 